Hello guys, my whole day back in with another new video and today I am really excited about this new tool because this is great. So if you guys know about like Bootstrap Studio or Bootstrap Made, not Bootstrap Made, Bootstrap Studio or some other drag and drop interfaces that create HTML codes out of it. Okay, HTML codes with CSS or Bootstrap libraries. Now, today which tool I gonna feature it has some of the drag and drop feature which will create react components for you now here's things get excited right so let's just visit the tool like tools website i'm not gonna share the actual way, interface of the tool but let's just visit the tools website and have a look because yeah you're gonna enjoy it so this is react type react type 9.0 visual programming tool for react developers now don't take it as a production level alternative to your react app don't make that mistake first of all because yeah at the end of the day when you are developing something for production or something serious you have to build it on your own rather than uh, depending upon all of those tools because that's the best way but here you can get some helps to get some shortcuts maybe you have to like uh, develop the whole thing here you are like this this will just uh super power supercharge your process process of whole, uh, building of whole the whole components so it is all, uh, all already available in mac os and windows and they will uh, launch the linux version soon but what are the features that is available so react routers available built in second state management that is also important hooks that we obviously we need hooks a lot to uh, create obviously create react components so those are also available third export to test suites so you can export your app with one click button and uh, with jest so obviously already included like obviously all, like all of the great tools are already included not included in it but already compatible that is zest and enzyme for tests and uh, you can build the next and gatsby app as well so this is the next feature and you can integrate css editor editor in the live demo and copy paste css to just test it out but it is next and gatsby compatible uh, compatible out of the box that is a great thing i liked about it then it has interactive type. Uh, those are all of those things that we really don't care about and d3 visualization that is also there but yeah this is next.js compatible so if you know about next.js next.js is a bit different from react but it is built on top of new york to create static or server rendered websites so that is one thing and i actually am going towards totally next.js right now like i'm learning uh next.js uh totally right like, I'm totally biased so that's one thing uh, so it's great for me as well so yeah all of the features are available here like all of the great great features are available here. now here is the thing uh, you can build low level apps from here don't expect it to replace your whole coding process because that's not gonna happen this will just uh, create the interface for you or create the whole uh, thing for you like whole page and all and for you but you have to take the code to vs code and connect all of your apis or do all of all sort of stuffs like styling and all they have a css editor but not that much don't uh, try to depend on it too much because at last you have to code obviously you have to code yourself but yeah it can supercharge your process like it will give you upper hand while you are building like you can uh, export some of the some of the general components from here and get it into your code base and then just uh, make changes on it that can be possible right so yeah that's it about this video that's it about react app uh try using it i'm going to use it for sure because yeah why not right and another thing to keep in mind that is uh this is purely for react okay 
it will not support other react libraries like formic or reactable react queries nothing is included here so if you have to try out those you have to build component of on yourself on your own okay so that's that's another thing like the thing that i have repeated multiple times don't depend on it but use it as a feature or as a like tool that will increase your productivity nothing else okay so that's it for this video that's a and uh, another thing i would like to say that is it's a open source project here you can see totally open source it is it is an open source project and you can contribute to the code base as well and try it out and you can download it as well and that's it that's it for this video if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to my channel and if you know some of the great tools like this come and great tools app blah 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 like this please let me know about all of them in the comment section below so i can feature them in my future videos as well so bye for now